July 12th, A Word in Season to the Weary by Brother Bok Singh. The Lord is my rock, and my fortress, in whom I will trust, Psalm 18 verse 2. The fourth city of refuge was Bezer. Bezer means strong. The Lord Jesus Christ is our strength and our weakness. Many times we feel very weak and discouraged. Paul says in 2 Corinthians chapter 12 verse 10, I take pleasure in infirmities, in reproaches, in necessities, in persecutions, in distresses for Christ's sake, for when I am weak, then am I strong. In our weakness God gives extra strength to conquer our trials and temptations. The Lord Jesus Christ personally is our Bezer, our strength in all our weaknesses and shortcomings. I know my weakness, that I stutter and stammer. I have to claim the Lord's help for every word to be spoken. In the beginning of my ministry I questioned the Lord why He made me a stammerer. He told me that He wanted me to depend upon Him completely. In the early days sometimes I had to walk 30 miles in Punjab, North India, to take meetings. The Lord put strength in me for walking, with the bedding on my shoulders and also for taking the meetings. We have to pray with faith, Lord, we are thy servants. We are going in thy will for thy service. Give us strength. Similarly, when we have any heavy responsibility in our family, or office, we can claim his strength. He is our Bezer in our limitations and weaknesses. He is our unfailing and sufficient strength. Fifthly, Ramath means height. The Lord wants us to rise very high in our spiritual life. We see in Deuteronomy chapter 32 verses 11 to 13, how an eagle makes its young one to fly high when they are small. In the same way our Lord wants us to rise high spiritually. The mother eagle comes and starts shaking the nest till it is broken. Then the eagles start falling from the nest. The mother eagle takes them on its wings, goes high and again drop them. This is repeated many times till the young birds learn to fly high. In the same way the Lord wants us to fly very high, that is, to have a deeper experience of Himself. For that purpose He must break our plans. We may go on crying. Lord, have mercy upon us, see our condition. But the Lord goes on breaking us till we are brought to a high place spiritually where He has everything best for us. He breaks our plans to bring us into His plan. Then we enjoy all the hidden mysteries of God's Word, and know what high purposes He has in saving us, Isaiah chapter 58 verse 14. That is God's desire for us. The more we delight in doing God's will the more we rise high. Sixthly, Golan means circle. In a circle there is no starting point. Every point can be the starting as well as ending point. A circle stands for eternity. There is no beginning or ending, light or darkness, day or night in eternity. Day by day the Lord is preparing us for eternity. There are some lessons which we have to learn upon the earth to make us fit for heaven. Upon the earth, we want to become very clever teachers, doctors, nurses, engineers and so on. The Lord has sought us and saved us to keep us in His heavenly plan. When we go to heaven, we will know the value of the lessons which He has taught us upon the earth. That is why we can rejoice in all circumstances, Romans chapter 8 verses 37 and 38. Whatever may happen to us, it is allowed by God to make us effective servants. Our poverty, sickness, trials and difficulties train us for effective ministry. That is how we can conquer all our temptations. We should say by faith that the Lord Jesus Christ is our Kadesh, our Holiness, our Sheshem our shoulder, our Hebron, our true fellowship, our Bezer, our strength, our Ramath, our spiritual height, our Golan, our eternity. That is how he become our perfect, everlasting, strong, refuge.